So in my head I was like, right, I'm gonna go up there. But I was like, wow, I'm not gonna do. Because when there's no street lighting on there, and there's two of those some kids or youths at least playing, or they might have been playing, or I saw a running, I was like, shit, I'm not going along there. So, uh, during the day, yes, but at night, no. I'm not gonna do it. So, I remember doing the vlog here, at, during the day, and I was like, wow, this shoddy road works and everything. But doing it at night, where the traffic seems more in the volume, it seems more obvious how stupid the rail, rail, the light, the roadworks are. I mean, at some point, I mean, for a very long time, you could walk on the, the right side of the pavement all the way along, but now I've got to walk along here to a crossing point further up here, and then. Uh, Pretty much cross over. So you've got to stop two ways of traffic, uh, let alone where you are. You are like a very busy roundabout. See, when it's like this, it's like, oh, perfect. They can, they can cross now. You can't cross over because it's all knackered. But actually, Having done what I did before I found out that bit was closed, was I just crossed over like here. But the problem is, no crossing you see, so once that's emptied, which it isn't going to do because of the time it is, give it a good two hours and then it will be empty. So you will never be able to cross this road without a crossing without a crossing point. That's how bad this road gets. Give it at least two hours, maybe even three hours, and they'll be, you'll be able to cross it safely. And watch. You you have to press it. You have to press it. Otherwise, you're gonna get hit. Otherwise, oh, you're gonna get killed. No, you'll get killed on this. You have to press that button. Otherwise, well, you're gonna get hit. You try to cross the road further down there, you're playing with your life. Oh, actually, I can go now. I feel bad, I've pressed the button. But you've got to. It's either push the button or die, or be very injured. And I'd rather just push the button and stop traffic like I've just got to do now. But for some reason people are... Well, I actually hate doing it, but... Well, that's it, you've got, you've got to do it. It's either get hit by a car that's going so fast on this road, or even a truck or a bus, or just push the button and kind of feel sorry for yourself. And as, to be fair, better to feel a little bit sorry for yourself than not being severely injured. I mean, I'm not really over, am I overreacting a little bit? Maybe, but end of the day, you want to live. So you got to do what you got to do to live. weird how I've just literally done like a walk around Salt Hevel. Like oh, where have you, where have you, where's your day out or it's not really been a day out but it's been an evening out. It's been in Salt Hevel. But it's still pretty noisy. Oh god that just went up a bit. Still lots of traffic. This actually kind of reminds me of when I finished my McDonald's shift you know. Where I would walk home and I would vlog and upload it. Kind of reminiscent, rem reminiscent of the old times. So I'm going to wrap up the video because I need to go up the hill quite a fair way to then be able to drop back down 
to then cross over to then go back towards West Vale. So, let's have a look. Because there will still be a shitload of traffic. So, let's have a look. Nope, can't cross, I've got to keep walking up. Got to keep walking up. Can I cross now? Nothing coming in both directions. All so good. Right, I'm going to put the video. Walk down here. Might even film for like a time lapse going down here. So thanks for watching for now. And uh, goodbye.